All right, so the purpose of this video is to introduce you to the sections where we have uh, tools that you can use to accomplish things in the whiteboard space that is Newline Engage Cloud. Uh, so we're going to focus on two sections here, the left-hand side where we have what I refer to as fundamental tools, and then the right-hand side where we actually have object-oriented tools. And again, this is just to introduce you uh, to these areas so you can go in and play with these and, and you know, just take a look for yourself uh, what's there and what, what these things do. Now, of course, we're going to continue to build out content as we go. Uh, in, in our playlist, we're going to have videos that go into more detail uh, in terms of, uh, of what these tools are and what they do. But I just want to introduce you to these sections so you can go in there and just start taking a look yourself if you wanted to do that. So over here on the left-hand side, fundamental tools. Right here, I've got one that looks like a pencil. Give that a click, and sure enough, I have a pen for drawing, and I also have line drawing tools as well as shape drawing tools right here. Below that, letter T, sure enough, text tools. So I can work with text boxes. Uh, I also, there's a handwriting recognition tool, so I can use that. There is a speech to text button, so if there's a microphone plugged in, we could, we could use that as well. Uh, there's an eraser right below that. There are actually two types of erasers. There's an object eraser where I can get rid of individual objects, or there's a whiteout tool, which is essentially like a, a traditional eraser. Um, and so you can use either of those. Right below that, there is a button that's like I said, it has an arrow pointing up. That has a couple different things. So right here at the top, we can upload individual files, such as pictures, PDFs, things like that, and use those in the whiteboard space. But we can also upload and create bingo cards, worksheet tools, and things of that nature. So you've got a number of things here that you can go to to introduce content from other places or create content uh, that you will then use uh, on the whiteboard space. So I wanted to point that out. Right below that button, there's a button that looks like a toolbox. A number of these tools will manipulate objects on the screen, but there are others here that also will create other sorts of uh, things that you can use as templates and then use objects in these template spaces, like you can build grids, there are math card tools, and, and uh, there's this thing called Chattel, which is kind of a Wordle clone. So you've got a number of things here that can either manipulate or create as templates and use them that way. So again, we're going to go into more detail, obviously, uh, as we build out more content. But I just want to point those things out. The four buttons we have below this toolbox, these are tools that allow you to manipulate, or excuse me, move around objects, or actually move around the entire whiteboard space. So I have a select tool for objects. I have a move and resize tool uh, that accomplishes uh, much the same thing, but it allows me to, to do more with those objects. There's a lasso that allows me to group things together. And there's a pan tool that allows me to actually pan around the entire workspace itself. So that's, that's what these buttons do, is they allow you to navigate the workspace or the objects in that workspace. And then over here on the right, this is where we have the fun stuff, object-oriented tools. We have gizmos and we have widgets. The difference between them, and I'll click widgets first, is they are, they're, they're both menus for object-oriented tools, but widgets speak to uh, objects that actually have manipulative features inside of them, such as calculators, clocks, color wheels, factory tiles, things like that. There's a thing here called a wreck and wreck. I'll, I'll fire this up real quick just so you can see what I'm talking about. I'd actually never heard of this term before, but when I gave it a click just for fun, number of lines, I'll just put six. Oh, it's an abacus. And sure enough, see the sliders, they'll move. So I have manipulative pieces inside the object itself. That's the cool thing about that. And then gizmos, that refers to static objects. And there are a number of different types here. If I open the menu, that's a big menu. We've got alphabets. We've got animals, currencies, science experiments, festivals, math symbols, shapes, stickers for fun stuff, and then things that just kind of have their own category uh, that you can use as static objects on the screen uh, and then build out lessons with some of these. So I'll just go to currencies for fun. I'm already in US currency. I'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit. I got a $100 bill there, and sure enough, and I can place that anywhere I want on that workspace just like that. So. Two areas of tools on the left-hand side, fundamental tools that actually work with individual objects as well as the workspace, and then on the right-hand side, the actual objects themselves, gizmos and widgets 
that allow you to build out lessons and content in New Line Engage Cloud. So that's a little introduction to sections where the tools are located. So you're welcome to go in and play with those, but be on the lookout for more content as we build out videos that describe more in detail uh, what these objects do and how you can work with them.